protect property and to enforce law and order and not to infringe on the rights of the citizens of Zambia. The Agriculture Climate Action Foundation has urged the government through the Ministry of Agriculture to find a lasting solution to the high price of millimeal. Foundation Executive Director Oliver Bulaya says leaving millers out to support the Zambia National Service is detrimental to the millimeal value chain in the long term. Dr. Bulaya adds that government must relook into measures that will further lower production cost of maize through lowering the cost of fertilizer and giving incentives to seed companies. Here's a report. For as far back as April 2023, Zambians have been grappling with a high cost of living, which has seen increased cost of basic commodities such as millimeal, among others. After loud cries from citizens, government sanctioned the supply of the ego branded ZNS millimeal onto the market to be sold at a cheaper price. We'll be selling at 230 kwacha breakfast. Roller meal will be selling at 190 kwach 25 kgs. However, Agriculture Climate Action Foundation is urging government through the Minister of Agriculture to find a lasting solution to the high cost of the commodity team. It is a well-noted factor that despite the reduction of prices of fertilizer, the cost of fertilizer in remotest areas is still expensive and the government facility to distribute cheaper minimum is not feasible in rural areas. Therefore, the agricultural transformation agenda must not be seen to ease the lives of people along the line of rail negating the remote, remotest areas of our country. As we begin this year, we urge the government through the Minister of Agriculture to find the lasting solutions to the mid-meal crisis by having a roundtable consultative meeting with all stakeholders relevant in this sector. Foundation Executive Director Dr. Oliver Vlayam has further urged government to engage Miras Association of Zambia, saying leaving them out to support ZNS and other identified players is detrimental to the minimum value chain. Nothing can be done leaving out very important parties in the value uh, chains, you know, such as the millers. We employ the government to find amicable and workable solutions with the Millers Association of Zambia because leaving them out to support the Zambia National Service and other identified players will be detrimental to the minimum value chains in a long-term basis. And as a sign that government is backtracking on its call to work with the private sector in developing the country. We call upon the government to look into measures that will further lower production cost of maize through the lowering cost of fertilizer and giving incentives to seed companies to do the same. Today, the average price of a 25 kg bag of Minimil stands at six times President Haka and Chiriman's promised price of 50 kwacha per 25 kg bag, as the commodity is now fetching around 300 kwacha. Vincent Piri for Kamne TV News, Lusaka. Economist Yusuf Dodia has expressed concern over the non-mention of the implementation of the export tracking framework by Minister of Finance Tumbeko Musokotwani in his recent address. Mr. Dodia says returning export earnings into the country as planned by the export tracking framework is key to arrest the lack of money in